What's good, y'all? It's the Makeup Manager here, checking in for another entry into the Six Week Shed Series. Guess what? I got my tripod, I got my memory card, and now I got my camera actually crooked, though. Let me, let me fix that. There we go. Sorry, viewers. So, I'm about to get ready to do this uh, power hit workout. I need to go grab these dumbbells, but uh, just make sure that you guys just want to try it. Um, I'm gonna show you one set of every exercise, not the whole thing. I will put up um, an entire video um, of me doing it probably after I get a little more hang of it. And you know, then you guys can follow along. But pretty much you can just do what I'm gonna do is 20 seconds on. Um, and today I'm gonna do 15 seconds on because I feel like, you know, my stamina and endurance is uh, getting better. It's kind of like kind of high, but. I'm gonna do that, just to increase the challenge a little bit, and because I like it, it's fun. So, I'm sure you guys are gonna like it. Repeated that. I think it was about 23 rounds. It lasted about 15 minutes. Um, it was pretty good, man. Very, very intense. Definitely burned a lot of calories and all this shit. So it's definitely something you want to do. It's funner than a steady state machine. A lot of variety, and it's exciting if you like weights. Okay, I feel pretty good this morning. I would say. But see, everything's coming together. Feeling kind of mean. Still got a few more weeks, so we're gonna see how things go. Let's get a little, little leg shot. Let's see what we can get going here with that. His legs. Got a lot more leg separation than I had before, so progress is progress, man. So I think this one. Got that line in the middle now. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to see this, but over the back. <sighs> Anyway, now it's time for breakfast. Hope you enjoyed. All right, breakfast time, man. Waffle, burrito, got some cream cheese, got ran out of syrup. But anyway, I'm about to crush these. I'm gonna give y'all the recipe for these soon. They taste good as fuck. So I'm gonna do this, and I gotta go get my hair cut, then I got client. What's good, y'all? So, just got the haircut and everything, man. I feel good. I don't look like a fucking, uh, fucking walking mat, walking mess, or nothing like that. So, it's good to always get cleaned up, especially with uh, all this stuff that's about to happen, like with the Gold's Gym Challenge and all this stuff we're launching. I'm about to be in the gym a lot more. I'm gonna start to keep this up. I've been so busy lately, I haven't been able to go to the damn barbershop. But, my barber hooked me up, and my beard getting immaculate, low key. But anyway, I'm gonna go train my client. I got in a couple minutes. And then lunchtime, then probably wait like an hour and then go to the gym and some arms. All right, I am, hold up. There we go, folks. All right, I'm pre-workout right now. You already know, pre-gym, uh, pre-workout protein, um, and my pills over there in a nice little neat little pile. But I wanted to say something real quick, man. To all you people out there that might be um, 
maybe new or maybe not new um people that maybe not understand nutrition I had a perfect example with a client today um i asked her to show me a food log because I mean, I've been seeing, like, you know, she's a little sluggish, and also the weight's been stalled a little bit. You know, I don't really care about weight a lot, but I just want, also want to just check in on what she's been eating. And I looked at her food log, and I found out she's been barely been eating, man. And I'm like, hold on. I thought you were eating more. I thought you were taking the protein like I told you. I thought you were eating more, blah, 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 whatever. And pretty much it just comes down to, and I've seen this with a lot of women. It's very common. Um, they don't necessarily want to eat all the time, and they're not hungry. Or they'll eat a little bit and then get full. But... It comes a point when if you're working out um, uh, pretty intensely a few times a week with weights, and if you're also doing cardio or some other type of activity, you have to feed your body. Um, we have something called a basal metabolic rate, which we also try to find out. Usually it's probably around 1,500 to 2,000 something, depending on the person, and gender, weight, all that stuff like that age. But generally it's you know usually around what it is, between like 14, 1,500 and like 20 something hundred. Um, but pretty much we don't want to go below that in calories every day because once you do it starts to throw your hormones out of whack You start feeling fatigue um, You lose energy uh, And then Overtraining starts to happen pretty much when you're not giving your body what it needs it starts to fight back at you and You know she's been like really sore and stuff like that So and I know that she hasn't been getting the protein that she needs and she hasn't been getting in the calories that her body needs to sustain You know all this workout because when your body is deprived of the energy it needs it has to find it somewhere and then you know that's when it starts to break down like your muscle tissue and stuff for energy so it's just really important there's one thing i can tell anybody is you have to eat like eating less is never the solution you don't eat once to say that you're not hungry the rest of the day no because you're eating two five seven hundred nine hundred calories a day nobody should be eating that little um that's borderline like a starvation diet right there and that's how you um start to really start to damage your health and you start to lose your muscle and you lose the weight in the wrong way. That's definitely not what we want. So make sure you guys eat your protein and make sure you're actually eating a sufficient amount of calories. Most people on this planet need to be eating at least 14 to 1500 a day at least. Like at the lowest if you're trying to lose weight. Like I wouldn't even tell people to go that low. But for some people that's realistically obtainable. Generally I want it higher but you know, yeah. Feed yourself. Post workout man, I had a great uh, arm workout today. Tried uh, some new moves. Uh, to what well, one new move today actually? I tried. Um, they call it dumbbell rollbacks. Pretty much like a skull crusher, but you start, you lay on your back on the ground, and you start with the dumbbell flat beside your head, like uh, both hands, and you pretty much like power it up. It's a power lifting move. Um, I just wanted to try it out to try something different. That's not gonna put that much strain on my elbows. Cause I've been having like elbow pain uh, for a while since so I went too heavy on skull crushers a while back. Um, and it felt really good um and i actually like it and i feel like it'll help me also like on my close grip bench and also my regular bench press help me build some more power on my triceps pretty much you put it down flat then you just power it like try to power it up and then you roll it back down like onto your delt and then back onto the ground power it up um, i'll get it recorded one of these days i'm gonna get the form down a little bit um but it was overall good got a good pump today um my biceps have been i don't know i think i've just been going in on biceps lately i'm like yo i want some big arms so Excuse me, I think been going in. But anyway, shower. Uh, we're drinking my post workout stuff right now. Then I might get some chicken. And then I just got to train people. I actually have a 12 year old client now. Um, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, meet with him for the first time today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to get back to shower. It's in my long day today, man. Um, things are getting really busy because this Gold's Gym Challenge shit starts tomorrow. And I actually have to be at the gym at like 8 30. So I'm probably going to go to sleep soon. But, um, let me see. I don't think I got anything to update y'all on. You know, um, my strength's going up, endurance going up. I feel like I'm getting leaner. So I see like little differences. Um, when you're doing it the way I'm doing it, um, you know, if I was completely focused on fat loss, my approach to this would be completely different. Um, but I'm also, you know, I'm also concerned with growth and stuff like that and getting stronger. Everything's going according to plan though, and I'm starting to tighten up and stuff. So I'm very happy. Um, and I still have two weeks, you know, and who knows, I might, I might make a little bit of alterations last week or two, we'll see. But anyway, quick message for y'all. Find what you're passionate about and hold on to that motherfucker with the tightest grip that you possibly can. Probably the best advice that I can give you because you don't want to be stuck doing something that you don't like doing for the rest of your life. Um, 
when I found fitness and I started to realize that it was my passion and my love, man, talk about a fucking vice grip. But that's definitely what I recommend for y'all, man. You definitely don't want to spend the rest of your life doing something that you do not want to do. Find your passion. Find something that gets you excited. You know, something that when you do it, you feel like you're not doing work. You feel like it's not, it never gets boring. And you always want to learn about it. Find something like that. If you have a hobby that's like that, you might not know. That's your passion. So, evaluate a couple things. Figure out if what you're doing is what you want to do the rest of your life. If you want to do that, then fine. But if you have a passion that's not what you're doing, start working towards that. Day by day. Just like all my other times I said it. Day by day. Little by little. That's all you got to do, man. But anyway, quick message for y'all right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit this. Get it up for y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share. And make sure you stay tuned for... It's Friday, so make sure you stay tuned for next week, man. So I'm going to holler at y'all. Make or manage out. With the fresh cut.